This is the Skogafoss waterfall in Iceland. Every day here, hundreds of millions of litres of water tumble down towards the sea. More than 70% of Earth's surface is covered with water. But that wasn't always the case. Early in our planet's history, when the surface was far too hot for liquid water, this planet was shrouded in a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide and water. And all you'd have seen from space is the white cloud tops. But as the planet cooled, the rains began and a deluge shifted most of that water from the atmosphere to the oceans. And then when the rain finished and the clouds cleared, the liquid of our blue planet was on show to the universe for the first time. Ever since, the sheer physical power of water has been carving and shaping the surface of our planet. And crucially for our story, all this water has had huge consequences for the Earth's temperature. To understand why, we need to delve into the strange world of water at the molecular scale. And that journey begins with a chance discovery that revealed for the first time what water is actually made of. In 1766, a reclusive scientist, Henry Cavendish, added various metals to a liquid called spirits of salt, now known as hydrochloric acid. And what he saw was something that he called inflammable air, but today we know as hydrogen. And Cavendish was the first person to recognise its significance and to do experiments on it to test its properties. Cavendish collected the gas given off by his experiment. When he had enough, he took a flaming splint and put it next to the opening. With explosive results. Afterwards, Cavendish noticed something intriguing. On the inside of the glass vessel, there were tiny droplets of a clear liquid. And he wondered what that was, he tasted it, he smelt it, and he came to the conclusion that it was water. And so Cavendish was the first person to realise that water was a combination of hydrogen and oxygen. And today we know that the chemical formula is H2O, two hydrogens and one oxygen. And that sounds beautifully simple, but still, water is one of the most fascinating molecules we know of. <laughs> <laughs> 